um, as you can see, this is going to be a fun video. Um, I've actually received one of the packages that I was waiting on, but um, unfortunately, this well, not unfortunately, I'm so happy to get with this, but um, this is the second package that I was waiting for because this one is the one that I ordered um, like a couple of weeks ago. And the one that I am waiting on is still missing and I'm waiting on it for two months now. So hopefully it will arrive safely sometimes during the next month. I am really, really hoping for that. If not, I will really have to do something about, you know, the seller doing something about it. But uh, this is the one that I got... Um, that I was waiting for as well because this is one of my big plan for this year. I am planning on doing quite a few smaller designs this year. Uh, some new stuff, maybe some bead uh, stitching and like I said, quite a few smaller kits that I have or am supposed to have. <laughs> but this is something really interesting because this is something that I've never done before. This is from a company uh, called Fruzilok. This is a company from Ukraine. And um, I was watching these uh, for a while now on Russian YouTube, but I was never really into buying them because for some reason I just didn't get point of doing smaller kits but since I got into that and I am stitching large projects and I have a couple of smaller ones and I really do have a couple of even smaller ones uh, I am I'm really enjoying them because th these are kind of resting pieces for me uh, even though I have heard that these are not that much uh, of a rest because there's a lot of small designs in there and some beads and interesting stuff, which I'm going to show you in a couple of minutes. But um, th the thing about this one, I've never done before. I have been stitching on fabrics, on um, canvases. I have been stitching on um, plastic canvas which is fun as well but I've never stitched on wood before and these kits are stitched on wood this is actually a whole set of kits I there are like maybe two or three more like there's a car like a candy car or ice cream car not a candy car ice cream car in this collection and another light um, bowl which I have two of them in here I'm going to show you in a couple of minutes uh, but I haven't ordered all of them because there were like two or three that I didn't like. But these are really, really pretty and really, really special. Of course, the larger kit that I have on the back here is not one that I am... I mean, it's not part of this little collection. But um, I think that it's going to be really fun to stitch. When I saw this one, um, and the larger one I think is one of their newer designs... I had to have it but let's go through these um, one of them actually the one that I have on the top here is actually already um, open not because I've decided to open it but because it came in um, a little bag like, like like this one and it was torn so thank God everything inside is safe so that will be the one that I will be maybe starting sometime soon or maybe in this video and um, I'm going to show you what comes in this kit. Of course, every kit has something um, extra in it or like not at all or something extra. <laughs> but basically, the altogether picture is practically the same. Uh, now, what we have here, the camp company is called Frizzy Lock. They have uh, regular stitching and they have stitching on wooden... Um, you know, canvases, or I don't know, how do you call it? Uh, let's see what's inside this kit. Okay, so it has color chart, which comes like this. Uh, it has 19 colors. This particular one has 19 colors. Thread organizer, felt, uh, which I am also going to show you in this. Uh, it has beads. This particular one has beads, if you can see. Uh, mm -mm, gimp? What is gimp? I think it's the 
little thingy that comes in a basket mono thread for the beads which is really really cute by the way and it comes with three needles so um this is really really um cute i'm going to just show you this the only thing i don't like about this is that it comes on um you know the paper is not matte it's a glossy paper so it's going to be harder to um you know cross out but it has a key uh, i haven't gone through this it's kind of the first time i've opened this little thing but uh basically uh this kid let's see does it show anything it has a barcode not a barcode a qr code and some of the newer ones like this one has a symbol of cross stitch saga which you can um, scan this code and it will give you a chart a digital chart for this project so uh, these are like the newer ones that do have it like this one doesn't have it by the way it comes with DMC thread and that's good and uh, this is a town collection <laughs> so uh, it's really cute it comes with a couple of houses every house is a different theme this is a fall cottage uh i'm going to just go through them in a second this is the code for the you know the project the kit and basically what else uh, um, do you have here basically that's about it um it's a really fun project i have seen it finished uh they have these little stuff on the edges and you can just uh, put this whole village together one by one and you will have a full little village it's called Fruzilok village <laughs> okay so this is number one this is the one that has been opened and i will be showing you the components in a couple of minutes and let's go through the rest of them this is the second one in the collection 510 it has a symbol of a uh, saga which says that it's a later kit now this as also has 90 colors it doesn't have beads but i think it has cranic in this if i'm not mistaken maybe not but basically this one doesn't have um you know any beads uh it basically the same thing the wooden panel and you can just do on that this one this one doesn't have um um you know the symbol of saga but it's has it says here mill hill i don't know maybe this one was created um in component in company of mill hill a uh, company but um I'm, I'm not really sure it has a different designer so maybe that's it uh, but it does have beading in this. It has beads, mill hill. Oh, it has mill hill beads. So that's the thing. It has mill hill fill, bill, bills. <laughs> beads. Okay, so this is the winter cottage. This is the winter cottage, by the way. And this is the bakery. I haven't said that. Bakery, winter cottage. Uh, next one in the collection. Uh, this one, by the way, has cranic and it has toho be beads so the crane comes in the tree over here you can already see that uh and the beads are all over here so oh and here in the decorations this is the toy shop it also has 19 colors the same thing like it says here uh, it has cray neck toho beads mono thread and three needles just like the rest of them this is the next one okay next one in the collection um basically the houses the you know are already done with now we have this lamp lamp yeah, this lamp. This is lamp number one. It also has cranic in this. I think it comes in the light over here. And there's another lamp, number two. <laughs> so one is going up, the other going down, and it also has cranic in this. These ones have only eight colors in them, and they have a different designer. Um, so these are cute. These don't have the mark of the uh saga as well so these are one of the first ones next one in the collection is this this is the park this is the first park it has 20 colors in it it's a little larger um it has so what does it have in here it also has cray neck so that's nice it also has beads i don't know where the beads come 
I don't really see it right now, but it also has the same components. Also wood, also wood. Next park is the newer one. It has the symbol of Saga and it is a larger one. Maybe not the larger one, but it's a double one. So it is mm, outskirts. It's called outskirts. Uh, this is, by the way, Town Collection. <laughs> it has 19 colors in it. It doesn't have any beads and doesn't have cranic. It's just a regular stitch. But I have seen this one stitched. It's so beautiful. The greens are really, really pretty. Now, next in this, and this is not part of the Town Collection. This is the New Year Collection. And I don't know, maybe there will be other, you know, maybe mrs claus but this is new year's eve this is the name of the kit it has the symbol this is one of the newer kits that they have just received i'm going to try to put this a little further and it has 25 color colors in it it has sequences in it it has mono thread and um like well, always wood base like base and the wood that you are stitching on this is santa claus with a tree really really pretty um it's larger i don't really know the size of it it doesn't really says i think it's 20 something uh over eight if i'm not mistaken but it doesn't says here so i don't really remember what it said on the website but this is the last one that i got in this collection and i think these are so 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 fun so i'm going to just cover send the claws but still I'm going to just arrange them like this i am so enjoying holding them in my hands <laughs> i mean you guys doesn't it isn't fun when you can just hold the kit in your hands and then open it and see the components it's always so 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 fun um anyways basically this collection has the what i have from it i have one two three four four houses two parks uh which is already six seven eight with two lamps um basically eight kits i have from this collection again like i said i think that this collection has two trucks one ice cream truck and one that i don't really remember and it has um if i'm not mistaken it has another lamp like this but a single one with only one uh light so that was something that i didn't order i don't know why i just thought that this will be enough for me and now let's go and see what's in this kit so let's just move this aside uh, so basically like I said the kit that came with a torn bag uh, maybe I tore it but I'm not really sure this is the fall cottage like I said it has wooden base with a stand it has DMC thread 19 colors thread organizer felt beads gimp and mono thread and three needles by the way the designer is Katerina Bespertstova. Bespertstova? <laughs> Sorry. And this is one of the town collection, like I said, Fall Cottage. Okay, so let's see what comes inside this kit. I'm just going to... I just removed it like it was in the kit. It was like this. I didn't open it, didn't do anything. I am watching this. First thing with you. Let's just do a little more of a close up can i do yeah can <laughs> okay so this kit comes with this little card this is just a card um you know greeting card so it's just a gift that comes in this kit it doesn't some it's not something that has to do with the kit itself but it's nice to have a gift when you get it it's small it's like a business card size or maybe larger um okay now interesting <laughs> okay so it has the base this is the wooden base it looks like this really really smooth looks really good it's light and this is the base that's supposed to hold the house uh you know standing in now next thing that we have here is a little bag i think this the golden one is the gimp it has these beautiful colorful beads these are not small beads. These are larger beads. It has needles, 
three needles and it has the little uh, mono thread bobbin in it right mono thread yeah look how cute it is tiny oh it's tiny and it also is wooden and it says frizzy lock on it so it's always nice to have cute stuff like this now next thing that we have here let's just open this we have the felt this is the felt that comes on the back after you finish the design you're supposed to glue it on um, I'm going to read the instructions as well but um, basically I've seen it done so you're supposed to glue it on the back on your of your uh, house and this is the uh, wooden stand no wooden base is it a stand no it's a wooden stand <laughs> anyways this is the wooden stand this is what you're supposed to be stitching on it's something new for me but it i think it is going to be really fun to work with it's always fun to work with new stuff and i am really really cannot wait for that and by the way if you put this one on top this is how it's supposed to look like this side is going to be stitched and the other side is going to be closed with this and it going it's going in here like this it's going to be standing like this it's going to be so cute Gosh. okay anyways uh it's supposed to cover the back of the stitching of course and of course the thread the organizer uh the threads are pretty long um it comes with this small organizer says the frozy lock over here these are the colors well of course it's fall so it has more orangey colors the threads are soft well these are dmc threads so you can definitely say that dmc is good quality but basically these are the colors uh really really uh cute colors i love the oranges and i love stitching with these colors and i really like these colors they're really soft like you know really soft anyways this is the components of this kit i think that it's going to be a really really interesting project to do because i have never stitched on a wooden um base before so that's something that i am going to enjoy very very much so this kit is kit number one that's going to be stitched um luck fell on it just because it was open when it arrived so what can I do? I have to stitch it. Anyways, I am going to start this maybe tonight and I am going to um, fill you in in this video. So I hope that this video will be uh, also a stitching video because I am going to upload it after I am done with this um i am going to update you on how i am stitching this maybe do a little stop i don't think that it's going to take a long long time because it's not such a hard or such a long you know project even though i don't really know because i've never stitched this before but i am going to start this i'm going to show you the progress and i'm going to show you the final outcome from this kit when i finish it okay so let's get to work so first update for this uh, project i guess you can say that um to be honest this little thing you can finish it within like three days if you just sit down and stitch it i uh, really like sit down and stitch it but um i do have other projects plus i have baby boy plus i am not at home i uh, i'm kind of um well i'm at my mom's house right now today is the fourth and you know what i it took me a much longer to reach this level um this much stitching <laughs> in this project um by the way if you're hearing bings this is marky playing so he's kind of banging by the way you can't congratulate me <laughs> or us because his first tooth just appeared um, we just noticed it today. He was really, really fussy yesterday. He was kind of angry and he was growling and stuff like that. Thank God he didn't have any temperature or anything else. But he's really drooly for a while. And um, like I said last night and yesterday, he was really growly and he was like kind of making noises of, you know, he was mad. So, um, 
today we actually noticed that he's button one of his button uh two teeth <laughs> two teeth one of his bot bottom uh, teeth came out so it just appeared it still didn't grow all the way out but the top of it has appeared it came out and it's so cute gosh you have no idea i was so excited about it anyways <laughs> um just a little something <laughs> um anyways i did have some time to stitch but i stitched one of my other projects that i took with me which you can watch in my um crafty chronicles days but um this one is not in that video so i'm just going to talk about this one so as you can see to be honest it's really weird for me i've never stitched on wood before and um here you have a little close up it's fun it's really fun the thread is great it's dmc all these kids come with dmc thread so you know that the quality is good um the only thing that makes me a little you know kind of conscience is uh the fact that can you see the brown like the darker colors of thread they are kind of see-through so you can see the back and you can see the wood behind but you know all together i think that it's fine and this type of project it's really not that bad everything is really straight i think that the crosses are looking pretty good you tell me what you think and um well it's just fun to stitch it's a little weird because the fabric you know it's flexible you can uh put your needle through like not only through the holes but through the fabric itself through the fibers this is not like that you have to really hit into the hole to put your needle through it of course it's you know it's wood but um you kind of get used to it after a couple of minutes and it just flows the stitching is not i i wouldn't say that it's easy because there are a lot of color you know changes i mean there are kind of confetti type stitchings going on not a lot of them but like this this is only one cross um this one is only one cross i mean there are points where you just you have to just do one cross and just change your thread but um uh, it's fine it's fine it's not that difficult and i am really really waiting to do the back stitch because together with the back stitch it will look amazing i'm telling you i've seen the final results for these and it does look amazing now how i um start my stitching in this project uh they do recommend it as well is to use the hoop method uh the loop method to you know start your stitching just um you know maybe all of you know that maybe one day i will uh, show you how i do it but i try not to do um this the blend that I was using. I try not to make too much mess. You know? So this is what I have in the back. My, I hope that my mom doesn't hear. My mom doesn't hear. I'm kind of listening to her. So I'm um, getting confused with what I want to say. I hope that you don't hear what they are doing there. Because they are making a lot of noise. Anyways, the back side looks like this. Uh, there is a piece that you were supposed to glue in the back so it won't be noticeable but um, basically this is my progress this is halfway through the stitching I'm not counting the back stitch in this but I still have to finish this area and then it will look perfect now to remind you this is it but of course I don't need to remind you because um, you know <laughs> You've seen it a couple of seconds ago okay so um the, about the chart i do not cross out the chart as you can see just a little piece of it you i don't cross out the symbols because um i have the back stitch on the same chart now i think that this is something that i could have changed they could have just gave uh another chart with the back stitch 
for you know for stitching because it's kind of difficult to stitch uh, you know to cross out if somebody does uh, you know cross out symbols to cross it out with back stitch on top so it's a problem but hopefully it will go well and next update I think will be when this project will be finished um, and I think that it's really fun project so I'll see you in a couple of seconds Hey guys, so today is Sunday and it's the 7th and I am finally finished with the stitching. Actually, I've decided to just finish this one because I wanted to, you know, finish this video plus I really just enjoy the process because I've never stitched in wood before but um, basically I've finished all the crosses if you can tell I didn't do the back stitch yet I am going to do that um, maybe tonight we'll see but look how cute it looks it looks a little weird because you know it's still it's not canvas it's wood like I said but uh, I think that the crosses are all really straight they're all looking great uh, here's a little close-up uh, like I said, it's DMC thread, so we all know DMC, how they behave. It wasn't kind of, it was kind of difficult to stitch the tree because it has quite a bit of confetti. Uh, not a lot, but, you know, a little. <laughs> and because I didn't cross out, um, the chart, I got a little confused sometimes, but it, it's fine. It's not that difficult. Now, all I have to do is do a back stitch. If you can see, this is the amount of backstitch. It's not a crazy amount, but I think it's going to take like an hour or so. And the most interesting thing is going to be the basket with the little uh, beads. Uh, let me show you the little bag for this thing. Uh, basically, this is the little bag that I'm supposed to be using. You have the beads, you have two needles, you have a little spool with the thread, and we have the, you know, the metallic golden thingy. <laughs> I don't know how to call it, but it's also um, going to be stitched in. So basically, the next step for me is doing, oh, focus, is doing back stitch and doing the little basket which is the most interesting thing in this whole thing in this whole process so let's start with backstitch like i said maybe i'll do it tonight and see how it's ending up uh, in a couple of seconds you are definitely going to see the final result and i think that it's going to be beautiful okay um great to see you soon okay guys um unfortunately i recorded this little clip and i totally didn't notice that I was covering my mic and I did not have any audio for this little clip. <laughs> so as you can see, I have finished this project. Um, this is at um, 12 o'clock. I was filming this at 12 o'clock. It's actually not that much later now that I'm recording this, but can you tell how cute this looks? I totally remember what I was talking about. I was just saying how I enjoyed this project. I am already finished with the um, backstitch and I am loving, loving, loving this because I did not even expect when I was just stitching the crosses, I didn't even notice. I mean, I did notice, but it looked really, um, it looked really pixelated. Now that I have backstitch, I actually uh, see the whole design come to life. Um, can you see the chair? I did make a mistake with the chair. If you can tell, there is, um, um, there's a chair on the porch, and the seat of it was actually in front of the porch, so it was a mistake. But altogether, there was also um, an umbrella. There you have an umbrella behind the basket, and. Uh, it's also a mistake because I actually stitched it into a different hole. <laughs> um, so it looks like I have two umbrellas over there. But it's fine. Maybe there's a lot of umbrellas in this house. Um, I did finish the basket as well. It was really, really fun to stitch. 
I love the little beads. It's they look like little apples. Actually, I think they are supposed to be apples, but I've never stitched stitched with beads so big. And also the gimp. The trickiest thing in this whole project was the gimp. If you can tell on the bottom side, it's actually a little cricket. Just because I am well, I kind of didn't notice that I used the side of it that was uh, kind of not straight. <laughs> so it looks weird, but I think that it looks pretty cute. I did have much so much fun stitching this and I am really happy with the result. I only had a little problem with the glue. I used this glue, this is super glue. Um, it dries in like three seconds and I'm totally afraid of this because if it's touching your finger, your fingers will be stuck together forever. <laughs> so um, don't do that. But it did not go very well with this project. I Maybe I didn't put enough because I, like I said, I'm afraid of it, but the edges are not, very well stick to the you know stuck to the what there i'm showing you how it looks uh it it's not stuck like it's supposed to now i'm going to get different glue a little bit later and you know glue it together again but uh for now i think that the result is so so cute i actually inserted it already into the little um you know the bottom part of it and the stand and it looks cute oh um there's <laughs> some pretzels that i was mm, you know munching on this is cheddar pretzel and i had also some tea with me and uh there's a card that came in the kit every kit has this little got card in there so i don't know that's just a little gift that they give you I, it's always nice to get gifts. <laughs> Anyways, um, I am in love with this. This is so fun to stitch. It's something really new to me, even though I'm not really pleased with the edges. But I think that this is so cute. I am going to um, stitch the next one. I'm not sure when, but let's see what I am left with now the organizers if you can tell i have all the threads still in place the only thing i didn't like about them that it's well it's always like this but this is also a paper organizer it's a little eliminated but um i am a little rough with taking out threads sometimes when i'm excited about a project i guess and it drips through the little holes that hold the thread so that's a little disappointing because um that's kind of ruining my experience with this organizer but i think that's my fault because i actually um i wasn't really gentle with it it's sturdy um but not sturdy enough that's why i ordered wooden organizer for my azure uh, pizza kit which I'm going to use for them because they also have paper organizers and those are really are even more flimsy than this one. So basically, I am happy with this. I am left with a lot of thread. I think there's enough for another stitch, but um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to keep it still um, until I finish all the designs. Maybe I'll have to use it again. Maybe I'll run out of thread or something. But um, I usually don't keep threads from different kits. That's a problem of mine. I like starting new kits with new um, stuff, with new threads, with new uh, products. So I am usually really messy with my leftovers and I, you know, I tend to like, lose them in some point or maybe throw them away but i did get messages um about that a couple of times that's saying don't throw your threads away that's bad okay now next what i was left with is this this little baggie was with uh the basket stuff so i have still have all the thread from the spoolie that comes in there, the wooden little spoolie, uh, and 
it's basically a thread for really transparent one for the beads i still have two little beads left um the yellow one and the red one just in case you know you want to use it by the way you can choose whatever it is you want to do with your beads because they don't give you the location of them in the chart so you can just put them as you know whatever however you want um there you go you can see that i actually used the same order that comes in the kit itself i just wanted it to look the same because i like the way they organized it um but you can organize it in a different way it doesn't really matter there you go you can say tell that i i copyrighted it um i just did the same thing by the way side by side i think that it looks better <laughs> in reality the only thing i kind of need to fix the location of the beads because they are kind of twisted okay um now i still have all the materials left i think that they give you they really do uh, give you enough of everything they actually give you three needles so in case you kind of lose it or break it you can use um your needles as much as you uh want um i don't know what i'm saying right now <laughs> i forgot what i was saying in, the, in this little clip uh but i definitely am happy with the result uh now i i'm not sure what i'm going to be stitching next i think that i'm going to go to my jarpitza ones just because i am not sure um well i am sure Actually, I think that I am going to stitch Raptita. I'm going to stitch one of these and one of the plastic ones just because I love all of them. And I kind of want to rotate them between my larger projects because it's kind of difficult to stitch, uh, you know, larger projects like by themselves. I do want to mix them with uh, smaller ones that are fun and easy to stitch so I won't get bored with that. By the way, my stand is cricket. I did not insert it the whole way down. So I need to fix that as well. This is going on my shelf. So uh, watch me in my um, next video. <laughs> By the way, um, I think that this one will come out first. Then I will have my Jardita review. And then you will be able to see my Crafty Chronicles week. So that's about it for this video. I'm so happy that this is actually happening. Finally, I received my orders. Um, subscribe, give me thumbs up. Don't forget to press the bell below to be notified when my videos come out. And if you wish, you can uh, subscribe. <laughs> again because a lot of people are watching my videos without subscribing and that would really really help my channel and i am so grateful for all of you and i love you and i am going to see you in my next video oh and by the way there's um an info not an info um donation button down below if you want to help me to my dream and get my um um, I'm hearing voices, uh, get my dream project from Heaven and Earth Design. So I love you all and I will see you soon in my next video.